Hey there, welcome back. Positively Incorrect with your host, Scott Cluthy. My special guest today, Dr. Rob Pennington, the author of Find the Upside of the Down Times. Dr. Pennington, welcome back to the show. Glad to be here, Scott. I want to remind people how to contact you, how to find the book, and find out more about your seminars, your teaching, because you are one of the par excellence of uh, public speakers and trainers I've ever known, and you, you just are. So how do people reach Dr. Thank Rob you. Pennington? Well, drrobpennington.com. Really? Yeah. Um, Is that Dr. Pennington? Yes. Okay. Dr. Rob Pennington, or just robertpennington.com. And also Upside Down Times. All of that will get to me, to my blog, to my website. Have you tried heyyou.com? <laughs> no, that would probably cost a lot of money for that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, but that's available, and we've gone a lot more into the blog with more materials and audios and videos that are free uh -huh. that uh, help people go farther. And, and even in the book, after the first chapter, I have a link to an audio of me giving a presentation because I really want people to not only uh, know me, but to uh, know that what I'm talking about is real and true and made a difference in my life, and I think it could in theirs too. Well, Rob Penning, you've made a difference in thousands, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people's lives at different levels, and, and over the really decades I've had the pleasure and honor to know you. Uh, but one, where, one place in particular where you've made a real difference is in your late wife Claire's life. And we share something in common there. Yes, we do. We both had wives with us for many decades, committed, who both had critical illnesses, mm -hmm. and they're no longer with us. But in your particular story, would you share a little about Claire here in the time we have? Well, uh, early on, a challenge for me with Claire uh, was that she wanted to divorce me. <laughs> that was a challenge. That was a challenge. At the time, I didn't understand what was really going on. It right. took some time to understand that she was right. afraid I wasn't going to stay. Why? Because of her illness. And so she, it's the idea of rather her reject me than be rejected by me. Yes. And I think there was a time when I was given a seminar and she happened to be there and I was talking about our relationship and, and she told me afterwards, I got for the first time, Rob, you really love me. <laughs> you really are committed. You really want to be here. And for a long time, she really fought against that that was true because she hadn't been able to depend on other people in her life. And so it's understandable that that would be uh, difficult. Um, but once she made that shift, that, there was never an issue again. But I had to go through learning how not to take it personally. And one of the things that helped me is I made up in my mind this little way of thinking about it. The way I thought of it is she, she loves me and sometimes she doesn't know it. So the right. times when she was upset and angry, well, it's probably because she was feeling hurt. She was not feeling loved. It really wasn't about you in that case, or your love for her, although you might have done something stupid, not that you ever do anything stupid. Oh, I stupid. do stupid things oh, all the time. Oh, you're a male, aren't you? Right, sorry, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and things that weren't important to me were important to her. You know, yes. just how the toothpaste is pushed or Absolutely. Uh, how the toilet paper rolls. And I really had to look at the difference between requirements and responsi uh, requirements and preferences. And those are profoundly different. If you're clear about what your requirements are, by definition, everything else is just a preference. It's not required. We're going to come back and finish up with some thoughts about the book and more with my great guest today, Dr. Rob Pennington, here on Positively Incorrect. Your host, Scott Cluthy. Stay with us, won't you? Welcome back. It is Positively Incorrect, your host, Scott Cluthy. It is great to have you out there, and it's been a real pleasure to spend this time today on the show with Dr. Rob Pennington. Robert, great to spend this very short time with you. Thank you for having me, Scott. Well, you be sure and come back, because I want to have you back again. You sure. have a wealth of knowledge and wisdom and insight to share with people, and we barely skimmed the surface of your book. What would you like uh, our viewers to know about the book and, and what they can gain by picking up a copy of uh, Finding the Upside of the Down Times. I think everybody's going to have what I call graduate school lessons in life. It's going to come at some point, and how you handle the elementary school lessons are important. How you handle traffic, how you handle your computer crashing, how you handle the lawyer irritations with other people. Right. And my book is designed to help people address, address those small ones by looking at the big ones. And it, uh, give you some very practical tools for doing that, and they can get the book on Amazon. It's also an e-book on Kindle and iBooks. Uh, and we brought it out in paperback to, again, make it easier and less expensive so that more people could get it. And because that's my goal is to have as many people as possible benefit from the blessings I've received and the information that I've been given that has helped me make a difference in my life. And, and there really is, and, I, you know, sometimes it's just in the living of it that we learn it. 
There really is an upside to a downtime, though, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, we don't know it in the middle, and that's what I want to do is help people. When we're in the downtimes, I know that it's like a roller coaster, and it's going to come back up, and we're going to have opportunities before us. And, and even in very challenging things like the illnesses that both of our wives went through, yes. we also experienced a, a closeness and an intimacy that we didn't before, and there was a love that we gained that we hadn't before. And that was a blessing in it, and there are always those there. Yeah. Well, uh, you have so much to share. It's great to see you. You're out on the road speaking again, uh, and uh, time does heal, uh, but it also reveals, doesn't it? True. Uh, new levels of relationship, and even those who've uh, moved on in one way or another, like Steve Jobs, it's a new form of relationship, but I think we can also honor those relationships by being who we are, the best we can be. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, drrobpennington.com? Yes, and robertpennington.com and upsidedowntimes.com. All right, very good. Uh, great to see you again, my friend. It's great to have you here. I want to remind our, our listeners, uh, going to be coming up with a very special feature. It is our social commentary with Seymour Foxhole uh, here on Positively Incorrect and your host, Scott Cluthy. Reach me at jscmedia at sbcglobal.net. I'd love to hear your ideas on shows, guests, themes, and so on. And uh, also join me on Twitter, uh, JSC Media on Twitter. I'd love for you to follow along with me. And we're going to be back with more coming up very shortly here on Positively Incorrect and Seymour Foxhole. And thanks again to my great friend, uh, Dr. Rob Pennington. Thanks for being here, Rob. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right.